It's the song that came to define one of the most important moments in Egyptian history. And the remix is now a hit across the Arab world. But it's not the only revolution-themed tune that has made it big. Rami Assam spent 18 days sleeping in Tahrir Square and performing on the main stage. His songs, mostly improvised, were born out of slogans that protesters had come up with. Now Rami is making an album. The songs I used to write, which were critical of the regime, were very hard to sing in public. But after the revolution, I feel like I'm fulfilling a dream to be able to sing them without fear in front of millions of people who are accepting and listening to them. Just to be able to sing about what you like in the street, that was unheard of before the revolution. The Egyptian revolution, though, wasn't just about freedom. It was also about restoring a sense of Egyptian national pride. In the moments after former President Mubarak stepped down, you heard people shouting, Ena Masri, I am Egyptian. And it's that new sense of pride that's being translated culturally in many different forms. From jewelry to mugs, if it's got the Egyptian flag on it, it's selling. Even the more expensive items. This wrist cuff costs $100. This bag, 110. Revolutionary chic is not cheap. Uh, people wanted to uh, show in a different way than either going to the street or um, uh, changing their status on Facebook or whatever. They wanted to show uh, that they shared the national feeling. So a good way to do that is just to wear something. While many question the direction and speed of Egypt's democratic transition, there is one thing the revolution did that can't be easily reversed. It made being Egyptian something to be proud of, and young entrepreneurs are making the most of that. Shirin Tadros Al Jazeera, Cairo.